Hello, my name is Robin Newton. I'm the Executive Assistant to the Superintendent of Henderson County Schools. The Henderson County Board of Education meets on, for their regular board meeting on the third Monday of each month. Should a holiday fall on the third Monday, the meeting will be held on the Tuesday after the holiday. The Henderson County Board of Education meetings are held at the Professional Development Center, 631 North Green Street. Meetings begin at 6 o'clock p.m. and are open to the public. For more information about Henderson County Board of Education meetings, please visit our website at www.henderson.kyschools.us. There you will select the tab, Board. You will find board meeting dates, board contact information, and archived board information. Special call meetings will be um, announced and advertised. Should you have any questions about the Board of Education or board meetings, please contact us at 270-831-5000. The Henderson County Schools 2019 Winter Reading Challenge is now underway. Upload pictures or videos of your child reading and use the hashtag HCSReads for a chance to win prizes and to be a part of the Social Media Reading Challenge. For more information, contact us at 270-831-5000 or find us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. We are Henderson County Schools, and we are building a better graduate. Henderson County Schools New Year, New Year, Wellness Fair, and Fun Run will be held Saturday, January 26, 2019 at Henderson County High School. This indoor event will include a wellness fair at 4 p.m., Kids Run, 5.30 p.m., Snow Globe Fun Run Walk, 6 p.m. There is no cost to participate. This event is open to parents, students, staff, and community. Event shirts will be available for purchase at the event. For more information, contact us at 270-831-5000 or visit us at www.henderson.kyschools.us. We are Henderson County Schools, and we are building a better graduate. New Year. I'm Mark Anna Stanley and this is your end of week message. Today is January 4th and I hope you've had a wonderful week back to school. Certainly across the district that we have had a lot of energy coming back to school and our kids are glad to be back in the classroom as we are as well. You know, New Year's is a time that we often think of New Year's resolutions and setting goals and one thing that we all can work on doing is to set a goal or resolution to be healthier. And whether that's eating better, differently, or it's um, drinking less caffeine, or exercising, it's a great way just to have a healthier lifestyle. So I'd like to invite our staff, our students, families, and any member of the community to come and participate in our New Year, New You Wellness Fair in One Mile Snow Glow Run. We're going to hold this event on Henderson County High School campus in our auxiliary gym 
on January 26th. From 4 to 5.30 on the 26th, the Health and Wellness Fair will take place in the Auxiliary Gym. At 5.30, we will have the kids run, and then at 6 o'clock is the official Snow Glow One Mile Run Walk. Now, there's no doing the snow dance during the One Mile Fun Run Walk. Um, we will be able to run walk through the halls of Henderson County High School and around through the parking lot, all in the way of trying to start a good, healthy, uh, lifestyles. Um, in the auxiliary gym at the health fair, our community partners will have booths set up. You'll find uh, recipes, um, some free materials, um, it, just different advice on how to be mentally uh, healthier, physically um, healthier, and emotionally healthier. It's been a great short week in the Henderson County Schools, and we look forward to seeing everyone on the 7th. Student Technology Leadership Program. That's short for STLP. My name is Austin. My name is Claire. My name is Elijah. My name is Peyton. We're here today to tell you about an exciting new opportunity for the Houston County Schools. And with us are two guests from our community who will introduce themselves. Hi, uh, my name is Mitzi Weber. I'm with Henderson County Parks and Programs. And I'm Nancy Watkins, and I'm with Henderson County Recycling and Solid Waste. Tell us a little about your jobs. Uh, with Henderson County Parks and Programs, we have four parks within the county that we take care of right now. One is in Basket, and also has ba Basket Recreation Field, where they play softball. And then Charles Alexander Park is in Smith Mills. We also have the Henderson County Fairgrounds, which is an off-campus activity for kids your age. And we have Sandy Watkins Park, and if you like to fish, that's a fun place to visit. My job includes the recycling end of the county and uh, the solid waste issues. Um, we deal with recycling all types of items, plastics, cardboard, plastic bottles, and the caps you're going to be collecting for your benches. And I also deal with people with uh, their solid waste issues, their garbage, uh, burn, burn barrels that you're not supposed to have, and illegal burning and things like that. What is this fun new program you cooked up for our school system? Um, this started with a package that came to me from a company in Hillsville called Green, Green Tree Plastics. Uh, they offer benches made out of recycled material. So, um, we being parts and programs, we're always looking for benches and picnic tables and different things that families can go out and enjoy. And it's a good way to partner with Recycle. This Nancy is just right across the parking lot from my office, and we work together a lot. And it's a good way to get the kids involved to know how important recycling is in our community. So I think everybody wins whenever we all get together and each department puts, has something to put forward and we, we can make this a real good success. Why should schools participate in the Bottle Cup Challenge? It's good for all of us to learn about recycling and how important it is for our community. Nancy probably has a little more to say about that. The tonnages you can keep out of the landfill, and if one ton is 2,000 pounds. So when you, when you collect the bottle caps so you can have benches put out in the parks, uh, you, you're able to see that bench there in the park. Um, it's not in the landfill, and it's recycled. You get to see a product that's actually taken to the recycling center and, and uh, remanufactured into something that you can actually use and see. When does the Bottle Cap Challenge start? Bottle Cap Challenge starts November 1st. Which parks might get a new bench? It could be any of our parks. A lot of our parks, we just need more seating. Uh, they all have walking trails. Uh, Sandy Lee Watkins Park has almost three miles of walking trail. So a lot of people go out there and walk and they might just need to take a rest. So we'll have them along the walking trails. We'll have additional benches placed in the fairgrounds or basket recreation league, just wherever we think that they're needed. Or sometimes we actually get phone calls from the public where they say, hey, we'd like to have a little more seating in this area. So we try to accommodate and this is just a great way. It's a lot less extensive for us to partner with you guys and 
like things you said, it, it's taking trash and turning it into treasure. Thank you for coming. We hope that every school in the county donates enough bottle caps to get a bench in a Henderson Community Park. All right, Niagara accepts this bottle cap challenge. <laughs> To excel as a national innovative leader is the vision for the Henderson County Schools. Hi, I'm Margana Stanley, Superintendent of the Henderson County Schools, and today we're going to talk about our vision and how it connects to Building a Better Graduate. Building a Better Graduate is a district-wide initiative, preschool all the way through grade 12, and it allows us to continue our journey uh, in a progressive fashion towards our vision. Building a Better Graduate will ensure that our students not only have rigorous coursework, strong character development, but they also will leave us with a set of world-class skills that they're going to need to be successful in life and to excel once they leave us. The world is changing quickly and the computer is the most profound technological development since the steam engine ignited the industrial revolution. The number one outcome? Globalization. Here are a few more examples of comparisons. Fifty years ago, the U.S. exported 14 billion of goods. Now the U.S. exports 729 billion of goods. Fifty years ago, you made reservations to call overseas and cost was a significant amount of your weekly pay. Now you can call London for less than a local call 30 years ago, or you can FaceTime live. Fifty years ago, you could pay in cash, and now you often pay with credit cards. Fifty years ago, the productivity was manufacturing assembly line, and now you see more of skilled labor and services. In farming 50 years ago, the U.S. produced 3 billion bushels of corn. Now the U.S. produces 9 billion bushels of corn. 50 years ago, it was more formal family portraits. Now it's all about the selfies. Our five world-class skills of building a better graduate were selected by middle school students, high school students, parents, community partners, business members, and Henderson County School staff members. The skills are customized to reflect community goals throughout Henderson County and they reflect the growth of technology and innovation. Building a Better Graduate inspires and guides the school improvement plans and our district improvement plans and especially our strategic plan in the Henderson County Schools. It gives our students